What are you Live, doing? live stream. Welcome Star Wars fans to another Order 66 Toys video and today we have Art Show Live. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. We got a bunch of artists from around the Metroplex area here set up in our store, Order 66 Toys. We're located in the legendary villages of Allen, Texas today and this art show goes until we close. It stays it stays going until 9 so yeah. it's going to be a great thing. We got a lot of good people here, a lot of cool friends. Um, and we're seeing a lot of cool stuff so far. So we're going to share some of that with you. We're going to give you all an opportunity to meet all of the artists that are here today in our video. And to start off, this is Haley Butler, one of our. Take the helmet off. Yeah, yeah we can take the helmet off. <laughs> this is Haley Butler. Sacrificing my hair. <clears throat> for... This is a custom helmet, isn't it? What? You made this helmet. Yeah, I did. Whoa. Heck yeah. Yeah. She, she designed this helmet. Not really. Hey, Matthew Warlick is watching. Matthew Warlick is Designed watching? It. That is so cool. I wonder where Matthew is right now. No idea. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> well, he's watching it. He's got some really while, cool stuff. While being it's, in it. It's our show live section. Today we fight Maul and the Republic. Today we... Cool, for it. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, so... Tim, Tim Holmes said, hey, that's not a Stetson. It's not a Stetson. I'm so sorry, Tim. Okay, clarification. What is a Stetson? Yeah, I had to ask that too. It's a cowboy hat. Okay, I thought it was like the, I was thinking like a bolo tie, but I guess not. Yeah, I didn't know there was a name for it. You know, it's weird. So, what are we doing today, Bobito? So, as I said a moment ago, like, we're going to get an opportunity to meet all of the artists here. We're going to get one-on-one -on -one interviews with every single one of them in the store. They're all set up. They're all doing their own thing. They all have their own stuff to show out and bring out for us today a lot of cool things here um so we'll get to them here in a moment first let's start off with Haley. Haley has been doing art for us for a good number of years now she actually designed the shirt she, she designed this shirt yeah really cool really cool um i should have worn this shirt but you should have worn should this have. all i have is like but a she wore this suit. other Masterpiece of a shirt. 20th anniversary is coming yes. up. You know? 20th anniversary 20th episode anniversary. one. It's not that bad of a movie. Hot it is take. a great movie. Hot it take. is a great Hashtag movie. Hashtag prequels or equals. Yes. Love okay. Phantom Mass. That is my legitimate opinion. Um, all right. So tell me about some of your art. Okay. So there's a lot of Ahsoka here, as you can tell. Um, yeah. Been drawing. For a very long time, I'm a multimedia artist by trade. Uh, that's what I do. Um, but yeah, Star Wars is just a big part of my life. So there we go. <laughs> so you do. I know you do a lot of Ahsoka art. Ahsoka is your favorite character. Um, yes. You've got an awesome. <laughs> no, if you're gonna show, you gotta show okay. thing. You can't just like. That looks awesome, actually. I'm really. Excited is that the owl? That. Yeah. Well, it. no, no, it's not the owl. That's not the owl. Oh, I thought that was the owl. No. Um, and special hint at the towards the end of this video we're going to be doing a special contest where you guys are going to be able to vote in our comment section live um we're going to do our first vote for our first t-shirt club order 66 t-shirt um just a stink peek it's gonna one of them is going to be on this table i'm not going to tell you guys which yet but one of them is on this table there is another one that we will show off later too and again that's going to be at the end of the video after we meet and greet all so of the artists would you say that rex is your second favorite rex is my second favorite have yes. you done a 10 out of 10. have you done a pops rex yet what do you mean pops old rex. man oh old yeah man rex. yeah yeah just not in print form and digital form why not uh, you you have holdo on this table you have She's so what? bad. She's so bad. She skips Jar Jar three and goes straight to Jar Jar four. That's how bad of a character she is. But you That's don't a have hot take. <laughs> <Gosh. laughs> um, no, no. Um, actually, currently I have some projects going on with Rex Incorporated, so there will be more Rex over time. It's just, and honestly, his beard is a lot easier to draw than his actual face. Is it? So. Yeah, I imagine so. Um, quick question. What do you got over here on the counter? What is what? What did you have over here? This is my best boy. He's is Commander he Wolf. Boy? Where did you yeah, get that? you can get it here at Order Sixty Six. 
Jason the, Jason Benetti said doing R S Sing. Doing R S Sing, that'd be cool. Yeah. How could how could people contact you to get a commission done? All right, so I'm on Facebook. Um, also, I am Haley Adventures on everything, so I have it listed right here. Haley Adventures. Haley Adventures. H A L E Y Adventures. And you can find me on Instagram, Tumblr, uh, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I'm not Haley Adventures on Twitter. But you can find me on Twitter. There's links in my Instagram to Twitter. So. Shannon, Shannon Kane said, said, just joining, what is the medium and what are they painted on? Um, these are actually digital prints. Um, so I don't do a lot of traditional. If you commission for traditional, I will do that. But um, all of my other stuff is usually digital because print, like traditional art costs a lot more money than I have currently. <laughs> so do digital stuff. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So Haley Adventures on Let everything. Let me come out here. Haley Butler on Facebook. She's pretty great. We love having her. We love working with her. She does a lot of cool stuff for us. And She's one of our favorites. I actually have a big commission favorites. planned here pretty soon uh, for one of the artists here. So You still have a commission you that I need to finish. You know, I was wondering if you forgot about that, but I wasn't going to bring it up because I didn't want to make you feel bad, so no, I was just kind of going to leave okay. it alone. It's okay. I did forget about it. That's okay. That's okay. But just for those of you who are my friends on Facebook and have seen my profile yeah. pic, guess who designed that? Guess who commissioned it? <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm surprised. Haley, thank you. We're gonna yeah, come back and see you later me. when we do our vote yeah. on the first ever T-shirt club, a Order 66 T-shirt club. You get to be a part of Bobby's T-shirt of the day. You guys are always talking about my shirts. Well, now you guys get to be part of the fun. You get to do it with me. So we'll, we're going to come up with how you guys can be incorporated into that later. First off, we're going to get um, the first t-shirt design underway. So Which one, Jamie? Jamie Lee Leonard said, love that Ahsoka. Which one? There's a lot of Ahsokas There's a here. lot of Ahsokas. <laughs> I think half of them are Ahsokas. Anyway. I'd say more than half easy. It's one. You got to count the sticker, too. Oh, yeah. Five, four, two, three. That's yeah, very, so a uh, this is very Steven Universe-esque. Yeah, that one needs to be updated. I just need to send it off to be, um, get new vinyl stickers. But they're expensive, so. so, I think. Work in progress. Do you have Patreon? No. Better get on that Patreon game, no. kid. No. You know who has a cool Patreon? Our next guest? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Luke, thank you again. Speaking of Patreon. Um, we're going to move on to another guest here in a moment. All right. We'll, we'll come back to you here in a little bit me. again for the I vote. Appreciate. That's at the end of the video, so you're going to want to stay with it because you guys are part those of the decision. Two, those two bottom right. Yeah. Those, that's a those dope look one. really sweet. Yeah. That's actually the daughter's outfit from uh, the season three Mortis arc from Clone Wars um, because I'm just obsessed with Ahsoka having like this major role in Star Wars. I also so, really yeah. like Ahsoka the White. Pretty awesome. I keep Pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. Please post her link. Heather. Hi there. <laughs> People want you to post links. To the artists. They want you to post also links. Just like say yeah. hi in there. To the yeah. Yes. If need be. Okay. Haley, Haley's gonna get on our video. You can friend her, follow her, stalk her, whatever. Most of the artists have links on the event page if they can go to the event page. Or yeah. Okay. okay. So the links are on the event page, guys. Cool. All right. Who's next? Thank you. Thank you, Haley. What up, my man? How is it going? It is going great. How are you? Just get back here with me. I'll get back there with you. I feel weird. Do I stare at the camera? Do I stare at you? No, yes. you just talked to Bobby. The answer is yes. Matthew. You've been doing art for us for a good amount of time, too. Um, we really love your work. You designed our Last Jedi t-shirt. You designed our Force, Force Awakens t-shirt. And, you know, your work's not done there. Who did, who did Rogue One? I don't know. Not me. No, I David Morley did Rogue One. I wasn't here for that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you did those two for us. They came out really great. I love the Last Jedi t-shirt because I love Luke Tyson. It's such a cool starship. Um, and then having our logo in the background is awesome really great we love it um, and, and like I said the work's not done there because 
at the end of the video, as we yeah. said with Haley, Hands we're going to do our vote for our first ever Order 66 t-shirt club, and we're going to do something special from you as well. I'm not going to give it away yet. That's yeah. a surprise for the NC. Not that I see yet, Mom. got to stay tuned um, if you want to be a part of that, because we're asking the audience to be a part of the decision. Not, I know what I'm voting for. Not only are you... Don't, don't, don't show anything. It's a surprise. I didn't, I didn't say anything. It's a surprise. I just said I know what I'm voting um, for, and then... Gosh, where was I going? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, more t-shirt stuff to come from you, yep. for sure. Um, and again, like I said, you guys aren't not only going to be part of the club, but you're going to be a part of the decision making for the first ever Order 66 Toys t-shirt club t-shirt. How special is that? We, we want to hear from you guys, so again, you better stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. So, how long have you been doing art for, Matthew? Oh man, since before I can remember. Literally before I was forming memories, drawing stuff. And you do a lot of art shows on a regular basis. Um, how often would you say you have to do commissions? I do a ton of stuff. Um, I do commissions all the time. I'm always working on commissions. Um, got a couple on the list now. Um, I do this full time. I'm a full time freelance artist and designer. Um, all my work, by the way. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Go ahead and keep talking. Yeah, Speak so, up a little bit, but we're gonna go through your through your work a little bit. Go for it. Um, so yeah, I do this full time. I do a lot of graphic design, some web design as well. Um, you can find my work at uh, artofwarwick.com, and I'll uh, I'll comment in the thing right now. Beautiful, beautiful. This is on one of my this, favorite pieces. I'm on the social media side. I would, I would say if I had to narrow it down to a couple pieces, I couldn't. I, I honestly, I can't say I have one favorite piece of yours. Because for me, it's a tie between your Vader, your Skull Vader, and the Skull Vader is popular, and the astronaut. I love the also astronauts. popular. All these are in here, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, just so start at the beginning. And this is through. the um, when you get to it, I'll show it. Oh, I like that too. That's good. Cool. Oh, that's good. Cool. Yeah, it's like I'm a, a space. Man. I love like I put psychedelic. A lot of food that I make, and I like mushroom <laughs> art too for some reason. Like it's it's something I really like. Seeing a lot of scenery. This is one of my most favorite pieces of yours. Love that. That one's cool too. So what were you going for with this? Like what what does this? So say funny to story. You? That was a rejected album cover. Um, there was some miscommunication with the uh, the artist, and they wanted like an eight bit Street Fighter guy on fire. Okay. And so I drew a sea of people on fire, and uh, they didn't like it. So I used it as a personal piece, and I called it Cold Comfort. Yeah, that's a really sh that's a real shame because um, that sounds a lot cooler than an eight bit yeah. Street Fighter. Guy. I know, right? I thought I thought I thought I was giving them something a little better, but you know the client's always right, so it went in the Probably personal not. portfolio. Oh, and hey, nobody wants Ken on fire. <laughs> that's exactly what they wanted. Really? <laughs> yep, just Ken on fire. Oh, now that's a pretty sweet piece too. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Uh, Aquaman. I can't wait to see that this this uh, December. Have you seen the uh, image of uh, Black Manta? No. Came out? no, I haven't. He looks so good. Looks good. Oh, Ooh. there's my other favorite piece. That's a really cool one. This one's nice too. So real quick, I want I want to shout out to my high school art teacher, Miss Bohannon, who's on the thread. You're the best. Uh huh. Is that Janice? That is Janice. Nice. None of this would have happened without her. She was a very supportive art teacher in a That's very important. small town with not a lot of art appreciation. I love all the aquatic stuff you do. Oh, thanks. Good to so. Get yourself. <laughs> Stanley. Oh, Stanley. I hope you got one of these signs somewhere. I do not. Ooh, they tried bro. really hard. Couldn't make it happen. Couldn't, Couldn't make, make it, it happen. It? No. His handlers were pretty tight with him that day. <laughs> I heard he liked it, though. So I'll take it. Well, if he saw it, then that's good. So this is Matthew Warlick at artofwarlick.com. Boom. Easy stuff. Yep, you can find me at Art of Warlick, um, Patreon slash Art of Warlick. Um, and on most social, social media, I'm just at Warlick. So Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, those are the big ten. Twitter and Instagram. Yep. All right, Matthew. Well, thank you very much. We're yeah. going to come back to you at the end again show. for the t-shirt. Oh, i got to go over this stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Special for today. Original ink drawings. 
These are 50 bucks. If anybody's watching, not in the Dallas area, and you want to claim one, I do take credit cards. And you can just you can just send them a message. Message me what you like. Oh, I like that brand. Jenna said, "Thanks, Matt. Love you. So proud of you." Oh, see, she's the best. Oh yeah, you got to get a good Vader in there. Oh, that is a nice finger. Nice. And don't forget his uh, custom painted Stormtrooper helmet back up here. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> got so much Star Wars stuff, guys. It's ridiculous. Just a good place for you to be then, huh? It is. You know, why don't we just give you a permanent booth here? And just come Let's in do it. Day. Let's do it. We just have you set Comment up. Comment if you want me to have a permanent booth set up at Order 66. Let's make this happen. Let's make it happen. Do it. We'll do it. And then check out this. This this is really cool. This is a custom painted helmet. Here it's I'll do Galaxy the, Trooper. I'll do the I'll do the, the turn. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. I love galaxy backgrounds. Look at Jim. Jim McClure is gonna be my little astronaut. It's awesome. Shannon right. Kane said do it. Matthew, Lainey thanks said again. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to you. Don't worry. These other guys. We're gonna back. show off some of the artists, other artists we have here. We got a lot of good talent here today. There's one right there too. <laughs> She's camera shy. She's super camera shy. Camera that is my way. oldest daughter, Jocelyn. Who? She what? What? What was the quote you gave about her? What She's, did I say? She's better at 12. She's than better you. at 12 than I was. So yeah, tell her to keep it up. I gotta, I gotta we, be hard on her. We wanted her to set up today, but. Just couldn't make it happen this time, but maybe on the next one, hopefully. I hope so. You know what it was? It wasn't that she's not proud of her art. It's that she, she gets uncomfortable handling money. Yeah. And That's okay. She wasn't. She didn't feel right charging people for her art. That's a hurdle most artists have to get over. It's yeah. okay to make art off. It's okay, it's okay to make money off your art. Nothing like that. I do it all day, every day. Hey, day. All right. Well, let's go on Who's for next? another one. We have Tori Hake. She's another local artist. Hey y'all. She's How you doing? working on some pretty cool stuff. Where are you drawing right now? Right now I'm painting a do bag. A, a do bag. Nice. That is very yep. cool. What's that piece behind you? Ah, oh, so I make stickers, and this is the beginning of. Well, I was mostly focusing on battleship designs. I really like that uh, crazy battleship star destroyer you have going on right there. It's got a bunch of like. It's like a mix between a Aircraft Earth battleship carrier. and a Star Destroyer. And I like all the big guns hanging off of it. I'm trying to keep it realistic, honestly, and get a lot of crap hanging out of there. Just, you know, so it looks like it could destroy a planet. It looks pretty cool. Thanks. It looks pretty cool. And I like how that dewback string, that head looks really cool. Yeah, I'm glad you can tell what it is. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. I'm about to add in the rain to see how that goes. What kind of art do you do? Um, honestly, I'm between stickers, tattoo commissions are very popular for me, which is where the style comes from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll just stick to doing paintings in my free time. And wonderful, wonderful. And I see you got a couple other pieces over here. Are these oil paintings? Uh, no, those are all watercolors. Oh, watercolors. Yep. I don't use a stencil or anything. I just freehand it like I'm freehanding the Dubak. And then wonderful. I cut them out and put them on backgrounds. I like this one too. This one's really pretty. Yeah, so that's an acrylic background with watercolor fun. I like it. it. Looks really cool. And how long have you been doing this? Um, this style I started in high school. Okay. And um, it was my junior year. So the past about four years now. Cool. Wonderful. Thanks. Cool. All right. Where can people find you online? Oof, at Tortorosaurus. <laughs> Um, I can actually give you a link to post on the Facebook page. Um, yes, well, we'll, get Heather we'll have Heather to come by and she'll okay. post it on our, uh, on our awesome. Facebook page for you, okay? If you have Facebook, go on the uh, go on our live video when we move on okay. and just say hi to the people and so they can post, find post your so they can find you easy. Yeah. Cool, man. So, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Tori. Um, we're going to go over to some other artists we have here, too. Who's next? Miss Stephanie? I think we're going to go with Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie! What do you got for us today? 
Decals and get Hello, Mike. Hello. All kinds of decals. You know, I might have to get one of those decals for you. Let me guess the rebel one, right? Um, of course not. <laughs> Is there a Thrawn decal? I don't know. A what? A Thrawn decal? I don't know. Do you have a Thrawn? Danny? Does it exist? Rut row. Ooh, you know what? You Actually, it it's just like do, that. Bobby went broke. Could you do a Chimera? It's like the underbelly of his Star Destroyer. Hey, Lenny. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Cause I'm gonna have it put on my uh, notebook that I have here for work. So, I know. We've known you guys for years now. This is how it started. Oh boy, I can't pass. Really great, horrible for my figure. Horrible for my figure, but I love them. Those are the best cake balls ever. I've ever had. Best cake balls. So what, what made you start getting into the decals and all that? I don't know, just... just Nerd them? Nerd them, yeah. <laughs> Nerd them and boredom. And I love the Fat. shirt. I like uh, I like in hyperspace the uh, TARDIS. the TARDIS is just kind of floating out in the middle of hyperspace. They didn't hit them, did they? Because it's, no. it's got to be a quick in and out kind of yeah. thing. No, Chewie definitely would, like steered towards it. Uh, oh, on purpose. Yeah. Okay. And I like his shirt too. Actually, I like his shirt a lot. That's definitely because, a Bobby shirt. You know, I'm an Empire enthusiast, and having all of that, oh, it's just it just speaks to me on such a deep level. Yeah, what level is that? A very deep and spiritual level. Is it the oh, same you know what? Deep? Is it like cake ball deep <sighs> level? I really messed up. I should have worn an Onko Kabluvian wig from It's Always Sunny, like Danny DeVito did. And I could have done the whole Onko Kabluvian bit. Oh, I'm really sad now. Well, nobody knows that. what you're talking about. I'm, someone knows. Some people know. <laughs> Alex would know. How can people get a hold of you for cake balls, uh, birthday cakes? Facebook page, uh, Petite Treats. Shut up, Bobby. Uh, petite Treats, and or you can just t um, go to my my Facebook. Yeah, what's the business card? Up? <laughs> just get that there, good in France. That's not petite the, Treats. Uh, email is actually srenwe at hotmail .com. Is actually a better email. S Renwe at hotmail .com. R E N U Y. And if I'm not mistaken, we also have you available for birthday parties as well whenever we have people sign up for them. Right? Yeah, no, just contact me and I'll. Yeah, Steph is definitely our go to baker. She does all my kids' birthday all kinds cakes. Of stuff. By the way, did Heather talk to you? Yes. She wants a. Gemma wants an alien, a grid alien birthday cake. From ABP. Green on the inside with chocolate frosting. Oh, and then like the green grids. grid yeah. lines. Yes, yeah. I saw that part. That's gonna be a really cool cake. Yes. That's gonna That'll be, be cool. a really cool cake. I'm gonna Thanks come back to you on that. Uh, what, what other cakes have you done just for us so far? Uh, we have done. Um, let's see, I did a little birthday um, um, stormtrooper, little stormtrooper. Yep. Did the. Probably like underworld, uh, underworld. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that one. I never knew what Underworld was until. That one. That's okay. Most people don't. I know. Uh, we did Gemma's first birthday. Uh, yeah, ja uh, Jamie's first yeah, birthday sir. cake. Right, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Um, gosh. Oh, we did your uh, Batman and Alien cake. Yeah. So everything that she has done is out on Facebook. Yes. Petite, petite treats and cakes. Petite treats, treats and, and cakes. cakes. Yeah. Cool. It's like her on Facebook. Portfolio. Nice. Facebook. Wonderful. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, we appreciate you being on our video with us today and being set up at our art show today. Again, this is a free art show. It goes until 9 o'clock today. So you can come in and go as you please. You can talk to all these really cool artists that we have here. All kinds of and awesome this an projects artist, that they can do. And you're do. here local. Come Feel in. Feel free to come up. Come in. I still have like another space available for another artist. So if you're watching right now and you're like, oh man, I have some stuff. I can just run over there real quick. You're invited. You have some Star Wars stuff you want to show off. Really cool. Just come on out. It's free. But it's free to set up. But it doesn't have to be all Star Wars. It doesn't have to be all Star Wars. Just at least something Star Wars if you can. Um, Tim, Tim, Tim Holmes said, I want to crowdfund cakes for Bobby and Josh with color printed cake decor. Josh and Bobby in Jedi garb with an EOP. And a Stetson. On EOP back. Who's with me? <laughs> and Bobby said he'll wear a Stetson. You know what? You know what, Tim? 
you, what we might just do for you is we might have one of our artists commission a Bobby Art on an EOP for you. Maybe with me wearing a Stetson or something. We'll see. We'll see what we can come <laughs> up with. Just for you. We'll have it. We'll have it personally signed and everything. We'll send okay. it out to you. But it'll be. Really it has cool. to be your profile picture for at least six months. No, can't. I can't do that. Well, I'm sorry. I, I'm actually. No deal. I'm planning on doing a commission here today with. He one said, of the "Do artists. it." Of course, he says, "Do it." I'm planning on doing a special commission for my uh, for a new profile picture here today with one of the artists. Um, so don't forget the EOP. Don't forget the EOP. Um, with some really cool stuff. We'll we'll get to that later. Um, next up we have who's who's this gentleman? Awesome artist. Artist. He does a lot of sculptured art. How you doing, sir? What kind of art do you do? He's not, He's not very talkative. Yeah, why is he? What's wrong? Oh, it's How this you doing, guy. Wes? What's Hello. going on, Wes? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Today? We are doing awesome. It's a really good day. We have some really good talent out here, and you've got some really cool stuff too. I see. This is by far my favorite piece. Of I, I, I know I've told you this several times so far today, but I really love it. It's so cool. And it looks like it's to scale, which when you said you've got other pieces for it, right? it's, it's or scale. coming. Yes. Yeah, uh, other pieces the coming. Side, the control panels. Yes. Those molds will be put in and I'll be able to build it and full box them. That is going to be All the electronics cool. and everything. That's cool. Electronics, cool. LEDs, the Volvo panels. Now, and for people that don't have space, that I got a little wall. have space for all of that. He's got, got these down here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I've been doing I was school, college for sculpture, uh -huh. but um, I've taken about a 18 year break. Okay. And since February. You decided to come back to it. I revisited because of Star Wars. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And and for some of you who have been in our store or maybe have seen some of our videos and just caught an eye of it, this is the Death Star 2 sculpture that Wes did himself here. And this is the display piece that we actually have at the store where we have some of his contact information, not some of it, his contact All information contact available you know. and these really cool business cards that he's got for us. So if you haven't seen West Coast oh, stuff, he West does some Coke really Designs. cool work. Com. We really enjoy his stuff, and we really enjoy having the Death Star in our store. It's one of my favorite pieces to look at. I always enjoy giving it the old spin around here. And Dude, people are freaking out about Han. That Han and Carbonite is so Said good. Said that's so cool. Great it just work. Looks so Ooh, good. Carbonite. Uh, you got a question from Justin Vixaw. How much for the Death Star? Uh, the 12 inch is uh, two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, and that's that's this size. That's it. Is a so just so we have some scale reference. It's it's pretty big. It's a little bit bigger than a basketball. A little bit bigger than a basketball. Maybe a big, what's it? A medicine ball, maybe. So you said that's the 12 inch. What other sizes can you do? Uh, I have I have dimensions for the 12, 15, 18, and 24. I have made a 24 inch Death Star, and that's about 56 pounds. That's 56 about, pounds. That's yeah. about 15 pounds. Yeah. So, solid wood. It's cut, sanded by hand. Um, the 60 circles, obviously stacked, cut, sanded. Justin, you gotta get, he's got one here at the store right now. I'm sure we could get it sent off to you. Contact Wes and uh, if that's something you're interested in, I'm sure you could make it happen. Tell me about these suits on here. Uh, they're at a formal dinner party. I guess on best business. I really like that too because they all have these little bow ties and that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. C3PO just looks like a, uh, got up a waiter, a uh, butler. Yeah. It looks like a butler. Chewie. It's the first time Chewie's ever come to Sarah. It's like Team Wolf. Team Wolf, he goes. Justin Mitchell said, I'm coming by in a few hours. Okay. Love this odd exhibit. Josh and Bobby, good thinking, Batman and Robin. Alright, dibs on Batman. Just saying. Alright, but then I'm Dick Grayson Robin because the rest of them are trash. Excuse me. Tell Jason Todd that. Okay, yeah, Jason Todd's okay. But he becomes Red Hood, and Red Hood's uh, pretty cool. Price on the bus, please. They're $10. $10 each? Really? Uh, they're about four inches tall. Four inches tall? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you do bigger ones? I, I haven't, but I am. Okay. 10 bucks each, guys. That's. 
gotta be an. I mean, that's a lot. That's an awesome price. What's up, Brian? And tell me about the prices on these. Uh, the 11 inch magnets are 15 and the 16 inches are 20. So 15 and 20. What do you got back here? That is a one inch cube mosaic of Mr. Darth Vader. Um, I like it. I made that last year. It was a late edition today, but I, I sought my office and I was like, I'll, I'll bring that. Nice. So, I like it. Cut, cut and sanded by hand. And two D2 desktop. Yeah, besides besides time, this is probably my favorite piece. The R2? Yeah. Is it Death Star R2? That is really cool. It's R2 Death 2. R2 Death 2. Yes, That is really cool. What's one of these go for? It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks? And so if that's four inch, and that's got to be what six inch? It's got seven. Seven. Six and a half, seven inches. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. These look all really great. Wes, thanks for coming out today. You know, we uh, really Tony Taylor said, "How much for the large solo?" The large solo. That panel, eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. And it, is that just this piece, or is that complete, or what is that? That's that. That's just that. Uh, we can okay. talk privately on a full box. Yeah, uh, Tony, go ahead and message Mr. Wes Coke on Facebook and they'll give you all the information that you can talk possibly about. Know. I can work with you. Business card, please, Wes. There you go, guys. It is Wes Coke Designs. Very cool. I'll hold on to this for just a second, guys. Go ahead and screen capture it. Wes Coke Designs. Facebook at West Coast West Coke Designs and the same on Instagram. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. Cool. Again, thank you very much. Thanks thank again you. for coming out. I really love your stuff. And then, um, of course, we got some other artists we're going to talk to. So, cool. right behind thank us, you, sir. we've got Alvin. Alvin. What's up, Alvin? Alvin. And he's, he and his wife. I are, have to go straight to this. This one's really cool. I have to go straight. This to is probably one of Alex's favorite because he doesn't like Rogue One. I heart poop culture. Are those are those potties on the ATATs? Yes, they are. <laughs> with plunger guns. That is yep. quite funny. So Rogue, Rogue Two, two is still worth. Rogue Two is a real slang that you have to go to the bathroom within 30 seconds because that star is about to explode. Everything that we do revolves around poop, and there's actually a lot of different potty humor that goes with it. So our best-selling t-shirt right now is what we call the All Matter. <laughs> all right. I'm not allowed to say it. <laughs> I don't know. All shits matter. It's all, all about unity. Matter. It's all about community. All different types of poop, they all come from the same place. All right. <laughs> And then you guys are furry feline creation creatives. Yep. And we have they have special right match right here, really cool. <laughs> oh, they're right here in McKinney. Yep. Furryfeline.com. Yep. Furryfeline.com. Check out that. So we have this is a Star Wars uh, uh, store, so we have uh, some dedicated Star Wars customs that we've done. That's this is cool. what we call um um <laughs> You can't even say it with the straight face. Chewy the dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy the Dookie, okay. And we also have like, um, uh, my wife's probably watching the speed right now, it's just mental blood right now. But uh, we have the Stormtrooper, um, this is actually <laughs> Joby the Craft. Joby is another word for food, so. Joby, okay. Imagine like washing your car and getting pooped on. Gotcha. That's, that's the whole theme. There he uh, is. You are getting all the laughs right now. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> and how long have you guys been doing this? It says established in 2012, but I yeah. assume you've been working on your art a little bit longer. Um, well, my wife has been an artist for all her life, uh, but we uh, officially started 2012. Uh, we've done it part time three years. Uh, we're back in uh, back in LA. Then we actually moved to Texas uh, three years ago and done it full time. Wonderful. Um, and we pretty much travel all over the country. Um, you've got another show coming up, right? Oh yeah. It's what we call the San Diego Comic Con. I, I what is that? Uh, it's, it's not a big yeah. deal. It's probably but, a small show called San yeah. Diego Comic Con. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, nothing ever happens here in San Diego. <laughs> so we're going to be at San Diego Comic Con uh, next week. Uh, and we're actually teaming up with um, one of the uh, big uh, animation greats, which is Chuck Jones. Uh, so we're actually collaborating with him. 
Wow. So maybe there is a scoop for a vile garbage bell kid style Star Wars themed set of cards. <laughs> well, if there is, yeah. I think these guys are the ones to do it. These are very cool, very cool pieces. Let me go through this art real quick. Sure. So we have our own uh, original characters. So we have like all these different characters that we created that you write their stories. It's all family friendly, all a lot of humor. Each one has their own personalities. So uh, feel free to get th um, go through the some of the art. Our style is a mixture uh, of, I would say, Looney Tunes, which is our inspiration, uh, and a lot of uh, Japanese influence as well. Okay. Just kind of poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll is like catnip. So people love cats, we love them too. Macho tacos. More meat, more jalapenos. Cool. I wonder what that leads to. We just said that. Uh, Chewy the Dookie. <laughs> Dragon Master style. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get more sriracha sauce. I ran out last night. What about that? The sriracha bottle. Is that what that is? And that sriracha bottle. <laughs> because every picture tells a story. So we have uh, Purge and Friends. Those are actually characters with people's personalities and stories. And we also have what we call the poop culture, uh, which is uh, more approaching the potty humor uh, area in a bit. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of humor in the things that we're interested in. Like, um, this is a place next door that does boba tea. Yeah, yeah, malicious. Yeah, malicious, yep, yeah. Yep. They're good friends of ours. <laughs> Love the yogurt. You could also see their post, uh, these posters in some boba shops here in DFW. Yeah. Um, you know, we, you That's know. cool. <laughs> Super toasty avocado. Avocado is out of this world. <laughs> Ultra cat. Yeah. Well, you got a bunch of stuff here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much in the essence of... Um, I hope that's mud. <laughs> yep, it's mud packs. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorites. Oh, dear. This is what we call uh, hey, it's, uh, the Kaldashian. It's Kim Kardashian. This one's what we call the Kaldashian. How'd you get the Kaldashian. likeness so good? <laughs> yeah, I think you nailed the, li the likeness on that. And look, it's Kanye West. <laughs> thank, thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Hey, it's uh, Harry Housens. <laughs> I like koi fish art. Either yeah, I'm, I'll be getting one soon. I'm gonna do a on this arm in that empty spot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a Joker themed koi fish. Oh, that'd be cool. Who's gonna do the that? Jay at 357 Inc. What? Oh, by the way, did, weren't you guys at 357 Inc? Yes, we were. Like yesterday? yesterday last night. Actually, how awesome, how awesome is, uh, is Mike? He was great. He was awesome. He's the best. He is. He looks scary as hell, but he's, one of the he's the sweetest guys. dude. Yes. He's the sweetest dude ever. Mike. said that she would definitely go back to Yeah. I, dude, I tell people all the time, I won't let my daughters get pierced anywhere else. I'm so glad we went to him. So much for the recommendation. You walk in there and it's like, oh, I get it. He's just a nerd like us. Oh, I loved his collection of uh, action figures. Yeah. All those action figures. Just great looking at all of them. Did you meet Jay? No. No, he was pro he, he probably either wasn't there or where he was working. Jay's a great dude. Oh, here we go. There's Rogue. This is the number two. Yeah. Rogue number two. Stool War Story. Poop culture was part of it. <laughs> oh, that's we're back in poop culture now. Yep. Oh, this is another um, diarrhea outbreak. Another favorite one is the freshly baked pork buns. Straight out of the oven. That's funny. Straight out the oven. Crazy fresh pork buns. <laughs> oh no, I could probably make a whole song about that. That one's funny. Oh dear. That's good. Here's Sir, this thing is actually a 
very rare core band that is actually the most battle worthy saber you have in here right now besides Mars. We can't get it to work. Dude, it just needs a smart charger. I have one in my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we charge Yeah, dude, when I come here Wednesday, I can Yeah, we did. We had a... We had a... You want to you want to yeah. introduce these guys, Bobby? Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and show them off right now. These guys are friends from Saber Legion. This is our local detachment. This is Jory and I'm Austin, Bobby. This is I didn't tell you my name. Did you? <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. He's I'm terrible. not good with you, names. And you go with faces. And you run this place. No, I'm, I'm good with faces. Can't no, I don't run it. I just do the I'm, events. I'm this just is kidding. the this is the boss man. Yeah, that's here. another good position to remember people's names. Let's see these. Uh, totally totally let's see these sabers. You're good. This actually is one of the sabers they have here. That's a this, that's a Corbanth OWK, I believe. It's like a first model or something. It's a prototype. Like this I just, is a very I just cool unscrewed it and figured it out. Hard to find saber because it was one of the first replica combat sabers like Corbanth made. So yeah. Yeah, pretty that's, cool. And that's by uh, Randy Johnson. He's local. Uh, or no, Ryan Riff Parks that. Uh, is with him is local. He's like in Dallas somewhere. Yeah. He's been doing park sabers forever. What's cool is Texas Since actually 93. has a lot of people who will make you a custom saber. Like they'll okay. do a custom install, they'll powder coat it to make it look pretty, make it make it blacked out, whatever you want it to be, man. Upon request. Yeah. And they could acid etch it if you want to do that. Like you want to get a little design like your family crest or just have some cool little thing like the Triforce on it. Yeah, a crossover. It. <laughs> um, so what are all the things you guys do um, in the Saber Legion? I know you guys go out to a lot of events. Do you do demonstrations? Um, I know you guys like to show off your lightsaber skills. Do you do um, tutorials where you teach just standbyers how to handle a lightsaber? Right. Um, how does all that work? Yeah, we do that. And, uh, you, you know, a lot of people, I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't really focus on the choreography. We're more of a tournament style group there's a lot of people that do like cosplay and choreography yeah. like a lot of us whereas we take it a bit more seriously and that's why we have the armor wonder that yeah they actually have face. fencing masks over yeah. there at Custom their station armor. yeah we just find what we can that'll take a beating so because these blades are made out of a th an eighth of an inch thick polycarbonate and they make riot shields and other like swat stuff out of that right? oh, so yeah. basically, have you guys seen the new black series baton oh yeah yeah what it's coming out soon what do we think of what? The new Black Series baton. Oh, oh that is beautiful. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, the Dude, one that Trader uses? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not out Isn't yet. Isn't it, but... like, worth 200? I don't think it's worth 200. I think it's going to be about 100 or so. Usually yeah. those pieces they, yeah, okay, so they knock people. the price down a bit. Right. Because people are probably backlashing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, back on to I bet. another thing. We do demonstrations yeah. at events. We also let kids and adults, if they want to join in, we'll give them a saber. And some safety gear. Don't worry, we keep people safe because safety is number one. Yeah, because we don't want anyone getting all this jacked up. That's how a lot of people make their money. Okay. Yeah, it hurts because that's how Bobby makes his money. Ah, uh, so oh, yeah, he's got the face for it. Like money maker. I've heard I had the face for radio, not too dumb. Oh, I thought you were gonna pull my beard. I was like, please don't do it. Dude, please don't do it's it. It's sacred. But, yeah, it is Among sacred. Like when we do up, Steve, our man? regular meets, we actually do run drills, we'll have people facing off against each other. Yeah, kind of like a martial arts class, you know, where you learn specific drills and techniques at first, and then you apply them and see what we learned, and mm -hmm. just improve upon that. And we've done demonstrations at the Pro Museum twice already. Mm -hmm. And I agree, Timothy. What, what's that? Sounds like a good outlet for stress and aggression. Oh, yeah, if you're a Sith, you know. You can choose your side. Why not? Yeah, he's a Sith. I'm a Jedi. I'm good at two shoes like that. What's that? George, we, we had a... Uh, yeah, sure. We had a store in Seabrook, but they broke their... What's the... They broke their franchise agreement, so they're no longer in business. Uh, Somebody's asking questions. What happened to one in downtown That's this one. We uh, just, we we just, just moved. moved it. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Jory, there's your lightsaber. As you can see, yeah, these are our lightsabers. It is much, much brighter in real life than it is in the screen. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Now that's cool. This one's called Photon Green. Because it's a green blade, the way the blue light reacts with the photon waves gives it this toxic lime green color that we call Photon Green. Oh, and it, cool. it accents, you know, some of the other colors a bit better too, like red or green. And this is RGB, so it might not show all the stuff truly oh, that well. Cool. Like, another fun thing is oh, a lot of us, 
we customize our armor like mine. I just did some basic spray painting on, but I'm actually getting commissioned a think the Predator meets Darth Vader. That is my custom armor. You have my attention. Like yeah, the guy who does it did his own red guard armor that's basically. Yeah, looks like Imperial. samurai armor and everything, man. It's yeah. beautiful. One of the top contenders of the Saber Legion, Ryan Capps. Uh, he's, he plays his top three in most of the league events because he's like a poster child of yeah. the entire like he dueling makes, circuit. He pretty much makes all the fighters look like chump. Now he's about to make anyone with armor look <laughs> yeah. even like bigger chumps. The dude yeah, because now he wants, to, he wants to build armor now, but the thing is he's an eight-year kendo practitioner, so that's why he, yeah. so, he does so well. And, uh, like you said, like Jordy said, he has this Imperial Royal Guard armor, you know, like the red from Let, like Rogue, the Jedi. Rogue One, Return of the Jedi in the Emperor's Throne Room. Mm-hmm. And then he made a samurai-esque version of it. Wonderful. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks you guys for coming out. You guys I know will be out here, be interactive throughout the day. Um, they'll also be at some of our other events. These guys are pretty great. You can find them on Facebook at... The Saber Legion Texas. Yeah, Dash Texas to be yeah. specific. And and you Saber can, Legion Dash Texas. And find our main international charter. It's just the Saber Legion. Cool. And yeah. how does one have you sign up to have you guys come out to events? Just reach out to us, or yeah. we reach out to you. Like we're actually trying to go to Acon next year. Cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. cool. Thank you guys for coming out. They will be interactive throughout the store. So if you have questions, you know, you want to know more about them, all of the things that they do, these guys are really great to talk to. They show off some really cool moves. They have some really cool lightsabers. Come see them. They're going to be here all day at Order 66 Toys. And they'll also be at our next weekend's event Hi, Mom. of Hi, our Mom. nerd car meet here at Order 66 Toys. That's so next week? That's that next weekend. Jeez, man. That's a week from today, actually. Are we going to do car, car meet live? We're going to do Car Meet Live, and that's going to be from, nerd, not, nerd not the video, so but the event will be from, nine, not 9.30, 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. here at Order 66 Toys. It's going to be out in the parking lot because, I mean, where else are you going to put cars, right? So come out, come see us, come see these guys, come talk to them, come talk to our artists. It's, it's a lot of fun today, and we have one more artist. Well, I wanted to get to back with oh, well. Calvin. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? No. Yeah. Well, check us out for e-feline.com. Um, Is that this right here? Yep. For e-feline.com. It's going to be uh, all over the country, a lot of different yeah. shows, so follow, follow us on Facebook. Uh, it's just, it's just view our calendar. And if you guys are going out to SDCC, make sure you stop by and say hi to Alvin. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. And I almost, you know, pun intended, screwed it up. Oh, it's fine. All right. Who do we so, got over here? Da, da, da. Ahmed Jelani. Did I right. pronounce that correctly? Yeah, you did. Hey, wonderful. How you doing? Good. And you are an LFL licensed artist. Yeah, correct? I work for Tops, and yeah, my work's licensed through LucasArts, through Tops, and I do the trading cards, sketch cards for them. Cool. And this is an example of some of my most recent work. Ooh, I love that Yoda. This dude is oh, the yeah. real deal, guys. That is so cool. And you've got some other really neat pieces. Um, I see one that I'm kind of excited about over here. This one's really You're kind of excited about it? You know I love Venom. You're leaving puddles wherever you want. Right? <laughs> I know, Venom is so great. Let me get over here and let me check yeah, this out. Yeah, the movie's making them look really good too. Oh yeah. And this I'm is excited. also some examples of uh, the work I've done. For tops. Ooh, that's cool. And these are all artist proofs, huh? These were, yeah. And then these are pack inserts. So these are randomly inserted in their products. You can sometimes find them at Target, Walmart, or through their website. Um, I like that Vader. Like a lot. Oh, this one here? Yeah, it looks really cool. Vader's having a bad day. <laughs> Oh no, what? He's got Thrawn. Yeah. My most favorite is Star Wars character. Who do you think should play? Oh. Christian Bale would be a good Thrawn or Michael Fassbender. He'd go weird. Yes. I would be happy. Yes. I, I think oh. I'd be happy with you. But he doesn't be honest. I want to do a... Uh... Yeah. He's... 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 I wanted to see he nerded him. himself out too early. Yeah, he did. He wasn't even weird about his role as a Hi. Nice slice. I know, right? It was, it was good. I'll also do stuff for, you know, The Walking Dead. Oh, Vegan looks awesome. Thanks. Oh, sweet. There's the king. 
There's the king. Oh, hi, Jamie. Jamie, do you want to say hi to the world? You want to say, say hi? Hi. Say hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Adorable. Hi. Say hi to your Grammy. Say hi to Grammy and Nanny. They're both watching. Hi, Hi. She said, hi, Nanny. Hi, Grammy. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Hey, look, it's Dr. Ball. Dr. Ball. Tim Holmes said, nice art. Thanks. I'm sure Bobby's not leaving here today without one of those. I'm like, oh, it's like one of my favorite storylines ever. Yeah, it's good. Hey, inspiration for a lot of stuff. We look for it. So is this the best way to get a hold That's of you? That's my website. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can commission me artwork as well. Do you have a Patreon? No, I do not. not no yet. Patreon? No. Not there yet. That Daredevil one is great too. That Wilson Fisk. Oh, man. Yeah, oh it's the best. Is oh. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Batman, I don't know if you got a chance to look at these. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tom Shackelford said, love Shiva. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was over there. Shiva's over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Walking Dead stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's the other direction. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. There we go. And all the work that I've done for the trading cards, I've got on my website, so you can go up there and check it out. Cool. Who is that, Jamie? Just an lucky guy. <laughs> Ken said she could take on the whole empire. I know, right? Go play. You know who else could? Dak. <laughs> Dak could take on. Dak could take on the whole empire. And you know, so, what, you know what these are? Awesome. These are his business cards. And he's got all kinds of different that, ones. That business card game is on point, oh, man. thank you. It's on point. Going hard. So, how long have you been doing art, man? Uh, I've been drawing ever since I could draw. But, you know, pop culture, great influence. Um, and then just me starting the shows. I started doing the comic cons or local shows about six, seven years ago. And through there, I got, you know, an opportunity to turn my stuff into tops. They took my, you know, submission in a good way. And yeah, for the past two years, I've been doing trading cards exclusively. Um, takes up a lot of my time, but it's fun. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Cool. Well, we appreciate you coming out. Oh, yeah. It's a great store. It's awesome. I think we're going to try to do this, what, at least once a quarter, I would think. What do you think? Do you guys really like our art show? I am having a blast. This has been a really fun show. We had a great turnout. Yeah, four hearts. The the store has been crazy busy all day since the artists started showing up. Um, and we've got to meet a lot of cool people here and see a lot of cool art. Um, now, I think it's time for what we've all been waiting for. Let's head back up to the front. All right. Thanks again, Mohammed. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate you guys coming out today. Pretty. Jason Benetti said super fun to watch. Uh, Steve said pretty dope. Hi Mike, how you doing? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Do us a favor. It's time to vote on the first Order 66 Club T-shirt. All right, we need votes from everybody, guys. Matthew, so, grab yours as well. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do like an A and a B. Haley, if you would join Mr. Matthew behind the counter and with over here, table, and we'll get this underway. Okay, so I think guys, I think we're gonna do like a vote A here, or I'm vote gonna, B. I'm just slap it on the seat. How many? How many images are we looking at? We're looking at two. It's, two. We got it down to two. So okay. we got Haley it down has to her two. submission. <laughs> Matthew has his summary. Okay, Matt is super cool. Let's talk about this. I want this on a t-shirt so bad. Oh, it's going to happen. Regardless. <laughs> so bad. So what's, Haley, what's your vote? Uh, I actually vote for Matt's because I literally have the poster, like, giant in the back of my car right now. And this it's one amazing. You oh, yeah. I picked this up for you. Yeah, right? you did. At, at the <laughs> shop. Yeah, I think mine at Fan Expo of Dallas. Yeah. So, if you guys want this on a shirt, vote A for Haley's. Vote B 
for mats and Which go for it. Which there will be more shirt designs, I'm sure. Yeah, this is going to be a monthly thing from now on, guys. So, we have, let's see. We're going to give it about, <laughs> oh God, till 3.30. What time is it now? It's 3.23. Okay. A. So we got an A. We're going to count up at 3.30 is when we're going to cut it Both off. are so awesome. And then we're going to count up he the votes the between you guys and between yeah. ourselves. And we're going to see what we got. We got uh, two votes for an A. We'll have to add them all up. B, 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 B. Of course Laney votes B. Of course That's does. a good friend. <laughs> Steven says A. Closer shot of B, please. Here, all right, I'll do it. I'll put the big one down. You can get a little more detail. <laughs> There we go. Boom. Okay, so that one is so detailed. I... Yeah, it's going to be fun making that vector for a t-shirt. For a screen printing. Yeah. I'm going to be an illustrator. Just like... Okay. See how many... I'd like to see your final, like, point count of these. Warlick. <laughs> B. This is up close to the A. Now, if, if, the, if the Vader got printed, what Ellie. color would the shirt be? Red. red. Oh, red. Okay, yeah, cool. absolutely. Yeah, it'd cool. be just like this. Oh, it's it's like it'd be all black, black on red. Black on red. Alex, for our I might even do some white ones, like a limited run, black on white. Do like a variant. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was thinking too, you could flip it and you could do uh, red on black. Uh, as I just want one of each of the Vader once it comes out. Like, please. I need like 40. I'll wear it like every day. If you made a tank top version, Ooh, tank tops is a good idea. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I need to pick up a tie silencer shirt for me. I don't have one. Got it. I need one. Yeah, I need that medium. See, if you had a tank top, then you can just put Order 66 Giant on my back. Josie, would you come here real quick? What? I need you to come here. You don't have Smile. to be on camera. You're not going to be on camera. We just need your opinion. I like, how do I do I do like, what, what do I do with my hands? Right. Like, this, this seems almost like, 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 like rude. Attitudinal. Okay. Like, it's attitude. So I'm kind of behind the back. What do you want to do with For the first t-shirt. You know, like the ones that wear the uh, Tony, we can always I didn't realize you just message us and tell us what shirt you're you looking for and your size, and we can get you uh, get that sent out to you. More Lexus B, right? Yes. So I'm gonna vote A and cancel for Zach. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, totally fair. Literally, you could vote for Vader a because I really want Vader. <laughs> a B. B. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, that's it. Um, Tony says thumbs up. Is anybody else? Tony says just thumbs up. Thumbs up. Um, yeah, yeah, question. I'm waiting until. So, how would we print this? Four more so, it'd be what? One, two. It would be a lot of colors. I would probably have to prep it. You can get that down to three colors. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe white, yeah. white skin, and then like black or red. Yeah. It would just take some preparation. Cool. And that would be also fun. How are the votes coming? Are we getting a lot of votes in? There, there was a good yeah. amount of votes. All right, so we have a couple minutes left. Let's see, what time is it? Tony, send us a message. Three twenty-six. We have four, four minutes he's left to vote. He's asking where you can get the other Order sixty-six toys shirts. Well, let's walk over there while they're voting. Real That's quick. a very good question. What size shirt do you wear, Matthew? Medium. Extra right. medium. Got it. Jamie. Jimmy, come here, doodle. So we have some of our Order 66 t-shirts available. This is our solo premiere t-shirt. This was designed by Haley Butler. Yep. This is Lando's Falcon. Next, we have our Last Jedi t-shirt designed by Matthew Warlick himself. Jamie. Come here, doodle. We have, oh, and then we got, we also have the blue one. And we have the blue one also designed by Matthew Woolock, just in blue. See, who did this one? That's our Rogue One. And then, in case anybody needs some, we also still have our Order 66 drawstring bags. Yeah. <sighs> I sent you one of those, right, Steve? I 
thought we did. Did we? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Did you show them our bags? Yeah. Ooh. We got to get a new bag design here pretty soon, too. Yeah. Who knows what will be the next one? Mm. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. It'd be pretty easy if we're going to do shirts to do a Vader bag also. All right. We've got two minutes. Oh, my two goodness. Two minutes. Two minutes left on our t-shirt design boat. Come on, guys. Put your boats in. A or B. A for Haley's design with Vader and Ahsoka. B for Matthew Warwick's design with the Skull Vader. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait. Either way, I think we'll end up doing them both eventually. Oh, Steve got the newest shirt. But. Oh, yeah. See, that's the. Yeah. You get that red. Um, see, I, I personally like it better in the red than I like it in the blue. But yeah. I've got both. Well, we it's had two auditoriums for that theater. We did. So we had the red auditorium and the blue auditorium. What time is I it now? Fancy felt hangers too. That's that's class right there. Yeah, but I gotta keep the hangers. <laughs> Three twenty-eight. Three twenty-eight. Two minutes. Two minutes. Get your votes in, and then we'll start counting. They are all great shirts, but how much are they? How much are they? They are nineteen sixty-six here at Order sixty-six toys. Really great, great deal. Really great deal. Three twenty-nine. You got a minute left, guys. One minute. Get your votes in, guys. One minute. Huh? A or B. They're both pretty great. They're both pretty great. And regardless of which one we go with, how much is it going to be? 1966. Yep. Also, you're going to be a part of the T-shirt club. We'll have rules on how that's going to work here pretty soon as it comes so, closer to that date. It's coming out in August. So You'll be able to subscribe to us, yep. uh, to the T-shirt club, so you just automatically have the new shirt coming in your size. Yep. Um, or you just buy the shirts as they come out. Yep. We're going to figure that out. It won't, it won't take us long to get these shirts produced. Okay. All right, guys. I we think... got some really awesome people that help us out pretty good. I All think right. that's it. It's 3.30, so it's time to tally up the votes. So let's start from the top where the comments began and give them off to me one by one. Okay. We have an A, a B, a B, an A, a, a. a Octuple B, but it only counts as one. A B, an A, a B, a B, an A, a B. Speak up so I can hear you. Another B, another B, another B, another B, another B. Another B, <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Okay. How's it look? So here's the tally. We have five to six, eighteen. Six to, six to eighteen. Eighteen. Six to eighteen. Right, I guys. think we're gonna go with B for the first one. So our first T-shirt design for August of the Order sixty six boys T-shirt club. I'm waiting for him. Waiting for the yeah. official announcement. It's gonna be B Matthew Warlick's skull. <laughs> <laughs> Vader t-shirt. That's going to be really cool on a t-shirt. But for those of you that wanted Haley's, when will Haley's come out? Haley's is going to be coming out in September. There so you go. We're still doing it. We're figuring out that color thing. We'll, we'll figure like it out. We'll, we'll put it on a, you know what, what will probably do is... We got less than two months. With the way you have it, we'll probably just do like a black t-shirt, have the red Vader lines really pop out, and then a silk will just... Hey, Dad, I must have. I'm and excited then, to do the Vader... That Vader helmet is going to be so great on the t-shirt. So is that a so That's going to be awesome. Listen, that shirt, and the Vader shirt, is going to be iconic, and it's going to be a collector's item soon. So, just soon. so you guys know, every Order 66 Club t-shirt is going to have the original design by the artist on the t-shirt. We're going to have an Order 66 <laughs> logo on the shoulder. There's one thing that has to be on there. And there's one thing that has to be on there. What is that? That's the autograph of the artist. The autograph because of the artist. the reason we're doing this is not so that we have more t-shirts to sell. But we're also it's showing so that we can our promote friends. our artists. These guys really do support their local artists. So support your local Order 66. We try to as best as we can. And of course, you know, in the coming art shows, we're going to be doing more fan votes on Art Show Live 
for future t-shirts other than this one. Now, holiday months are going to be a little bit different. We're going to have some special holiday themes for those. That's, that's just how it's going to work. It's going to be really cool though. Um, but this is going to be a lot of fun. That's a cooper fish from episode one. Oh, cooper fish. Use your teeth. Oh, I can't wait to do the Jar Jar. Oh. It's the Jar Jar. For the, uh, Are you calling dibs on Jar Jar? What is, for the uh, 20th anniversary of Phantom Menace, I think we're going to have to do a special uh, s special t uh, Jar Jar uh, t-shirt. No, we got to do Boo Snickens. Boo Snickens. That's what I want to do. Boo Snickens. Have them doing this because I thought things. it was cool. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway. <laughs> T-Shirt Club is going to be starting up in August. We're going to have more details on how you're going to subscribe and be a part of that here pretty soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. We'll also have ready when in August you're going to get your shirts. So be stay tuned for those details as well. Thanks for all of you who have participated in Art Show Live here at Order 66 Toys. Of course, the Art Show doesn't start here. Here. The art show goes on until 9 p.m. today. The party goes all day long. Come check us out. Come out next sun Sunday, not Sunday, Saturday, for our free nerd car meet that's going to be out here in the parking lot and out here in the store. We're even doing some really good charity work on that event. And some of our local businesses are pitching in on the fun, too. So stay tuned for more details on that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And maybe we'll do another video later today. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Come back. Come see us. Cheers, come man. check out these awesome artists. We'll see you later. We'll see you another time. May you the think, force be with you. You think that print's going to go up in value because it's going to be on a uh, worldwide t-shirt? Oh, oh, I think so. I think so. I think I so. I think so. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. We love all of you. We'll see you later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you. Thanks, guys. Peace. Love you.